Greetings everyone and welcome to YAL8 of YAL2022 and uh, for round 1 game 1 we have Flunderies vs uh, Zombie Synchro and uh, since the latest supports that were released are from uh, Dimension Force, the booster set uh, we have a few Synchro boosters uh, which were released for the Zombie archetype and now we'll see how they fare very well against <laughs> Dimension Shifter well, either way he has Rene Zombie on the Nova Summon and uh, do they need to activate the effect? Not really, instead they're going for a danger monster and this danger chupacabra. Yang Shi is also one of the new supports from Dimension Force if I remember correctly. And now maybe using the effect of the zombie to discard by rock to make it level 4 so that they can go to Babuska. Run to the set to cars and pass turn, and for the zombie sequels player, sorry, zombie sequel player's turn, starting off with an Italy. And go for the Z Amin for the pack engine, going for Foxy Tune to then get called by the Rift, which is. It should be completely fine because we have no muscle on yet. He has a generously being sniper, but they still do get to trigger the effect to add a danger Jackalo. Again, <laughs> snipe once more. But this time Jackalo will be summoning a danger Mothman from deck. Now they can go into one of the new uh, tuners, uh, which uh, gets shoot out of the zombie, but down they go for. The Immortal Dragon which sends the Quad Banshee to the graveyard. They'll be linking into a Crystal Hyperrax to then go into Glow Up Bloom. And uh, now we have to think carefully about what to do. Going to Vampire Sucker to then activate the Fuck of Blown Bloom and they will chain the Necro Banshee from Grave. To activate some rewards so that Blue Bloom can spell summon the Doom King Paradox from deck. They're uh, going to explain the effects uh, and uh, they will be activating the Pesaka to reborn a uh, Master from Grey or something like that. Uh, I think it's something you get to draw a card. Go for some damage and pass turn. He has Part of Prosperity which. Uh, Reveals uh, 6 nice cards from the top of the deck. He has got a cyclone on the zombie world. And now they are activating small world. Revealing England to banish Troy and Luck to add a Robina from deck. And now they no more summon Robina to then no more summon an England uh, to add Unpen to then tribute summon uh, and add unexplored winds. And they are activating unexplored winds. And Sipsai Empen is uh, attacking over the Bird Rock, uh, activating the Effect of Empen to halt the attack. And the Immortal Rakan uh, would have been summoned from Grave if not for the Crow, or maybe it was during the damage step, rather. And Baba Sakura will be activating her Effect to draw a card. And uh, now. He has Dreaming Town to go into Urbina. They will be shading Umoza Dragon to send uh, a zombie from deck. Going for the Nequa Banshee once more. And it seems that. There were multiple chainings and I think I did intervene in this side, it was a touch call. So the Immortal gets to resolve first and then Robina will be resolving its effect. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. And so they'll be chaining for uh, the World Banshee to go into Zombie World. They'll be adding the Burst of Storm Winds to then Nova Summon Eaglen. Adding the Apex again to then 
most likely use these five up and explode wins to send my car from the opponent's field or oh, not because it <laughs> because of zombie world they cannot uh, trivia summon anything except zombie monsters so they have to scoop right there and game 2 there's a pot of duality to add uh, I think it was an advert yeah Vanishing token and no more summon Robina to go into England, to go into Empan, to add the Dreaming Town to the no more summon the burst of your storm winds. Setting 3 cards and pass turn. And now the Zabisi Crow will have to think really carefully. Maybe they have the out against the burst of your storm winds. Yeah, Zombie World has a good start. And we have Uni Zombie using the effect. To send a Kozuki, was it? Yes, Raving Town, which Lucas does resolve. No more some Robina to go into the account to banish the Kozuki from Grave. And here, Shuckle Tactic Star eh, to draw two cards. They will be attacking over, the zombie will be attacking over the Grasp of Storm Winds, and here is Danger in the Sea. Basically, snipe must move and hit Chupacabra. Discarding the Asha, Chupacabra does get to be summoned, and here Chakalop once more getting sniped. Going to Mothman. Which is completely fine because now we have rifle access. Or maybe something else. Here's Dark Lumbo. Making sure that uh, the Empan. Does not uh, hinder any of the sync link plays. And just like Crystal and Haki Fabrax to then go into Clover Bloom. And linking everything else uh, for. Uh, linking every of the MSS to go into After Score Talker. For we'll use his effect to. do something? Uh, he has to decode on resolution to banish the Happy Fabrax. Or. something? Well, they have to use the. I uh, think the Club Bloom, which was going to summon a master from deck. But he has the Spirit Out to go into Immortal Dragon. Sending King Battle Drop. Making the access code uh, for the by sucker to reborn the uh, rock. Or oh, a barrack was reborn during the stomach phase. And he has. And then maybe trying to attack the barrack. They do get the half the defense, so they can just. Destroy the Donkey Barrack. And here's a Water Rock on being summoned from Grave. Now we make this 2 that we go into Nightmare Phoenix to try and pop the Zombie World, which is successful. But that's everything <laughs> that I can do for now. So the first turn and the Zombie Sequel player will be starting off with with what? Uh, Nequo, sending Nequal Banshee to activate yet another, zomb another Zombie World from deck. And here's Poxy Tune, discarding the NSC as well to point to Ziamin. And uh, Ziamin will use your attack to go to add uh, the Dear Note. Tribute summoning for the Anut to then go into Chaos Ruler. Using this fact to go into. I'm oh, sorry, uh, to excavate 5 cards. Time is running out, 5 minutes left. Do they have enough damage? Because Ampan does stop a lot of things. And I think that is the link for Magashi, absolute zero. And it will be reborning the Curse Ruler. We then summon the Jiangxi. I 
uh, Spirido. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's really called cool Shang-Chi, but I know it has Spirido in its name. No, I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> Two minutes left on the clock. And go to keep summoning a mini zombie. Use the effect to go send a mini zombie from deck. Synchro summoning for uh, whatever this is. And they'll be reborning the access code of Gotham Grave. But uh, seems like Ampen does. Cannot only activate once per turn and not uh, once per battle. Uh, so they can just uh, destroy the Ampen by battle and he has duality. Oh, uh, sorry, stay my face here. Eh? The Duke got the summon himself. And that's it, GG. Well played from the zombie sequel player because of zombie world. <laughs> and now for round two, we have uh, sorry, for the second game we have brother versus brother Elish, uh, Pio versus the Elish variant, and uh, the Elish variant will be starting off with uh, well, they have the Mirajid, a Golden Lord, a Gun that was banished, a three set cards, and pass turn. Now he has twenty turns, discarding Jaw of Avaris, targeting two set cards, destroying the Wakaru. Selling to cards and we must turn plus turn. And phase we go for Scarlet Sanguine, summoning another Golden Lord from deck. Yes, the. Mirror Jade banishing the Mercury from deck. Uh, from field, sorry. And yes, Planet Fusion being added to the end phase. Same Pacoro did set another Scarlet Sanguine. But now during the draw, it's uh, not going to summon anything and just uh, attack her for. Uh, I think it is lethal damage. Yep, uh, it is. Uh, two Golden Lord and Imrajid, which is uh, over 8,000 life points. And for game 2, we have uh, the player going to set 3 cards. And he is Pata uh, Scravagans from the Pata Edish player. Flipping the take a only one uh, right from the start. But he has a duster, clearing everything. Making way for maybe a another key from the Father Elish player. Castellan will be adding uh, a Golden Lord. Use uh, his effect to send the Castellan to generate a lot of advantage in the graveyard. And he has Golden Lord or rather Conk set a vanishing to set a gold scholar sanguine maybe from deck. And yes, add on the Shrouded Dragon, I think it's called. To Sun uh, is Black Branded. To place himself in the bottom of the deck and draw a card. Sending Banner Blade. Now they have. And he has to unlock to stop the Banner Player from. Uh, Going to draw and adding cards, but does it really do anything? Because Brother can just uh, use Monster from the deck as real material, but seems like they pass turn and he has Scarlet Sanguine to summon Golden Lord from deck during the end phase. Now we're going for turn, go for Castle Lun once more to add the Golden Lord forever. The counter trap. He has another Golden Lord being summoned from Grey, maybe. Attacking for a chunk of damage. Setting a few cards, and he has a Kong. Maybe setting another Scarlet Sanguine. And first turn with four circles on the field. And he has a Bridge of Blood Bufolica with a Kaiju. Kaiju being one of the Golden Lords, but. Uh, Still makes uh, the Kong and everything else live because of the second Golden Lord from field. And yes, Wakaro banishing the Banner Blade. It's a demo stand past turn, and on uh, the Banner Lich Player's turn, they go for yet another Cursed Land to go into the line of uh, Light Charmer. Battling over the Darling Tonya Cobra that was set and ending the game with uh, too much advantage from the Elish uh, engine. And now for games uh, for the third uh, match, we have Skyscraper vs. Mana Despia. The Skyscraper player will be going with Matrol into Kagari to Shizuku and uh, two set cards on the field. 
and phase, resulting the, activating the defense options to add engage from deck to hand. And now the battle display will be starting off with a gold sock of Augusta, banishing most presumably the discipline strategy. Yep, it is, uh, which uh, does trigger the effect to add uh, Aluber, the Jester of the Despair. No more summoning Aluber to activate this effect to add Brother Fusion from deck to hand. Activating the Brother Fusion, and here's Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell, negating the Brother Fusion, and for the rest of this uh, duel, they cannot activate Brother Fusion at all. But here's uh, the regular polymerization to go into Masquerade. And it seems like. The Mystic Man has been clear somehow. There's a uh, Widow Anchor on the Masquerade. Maybe they're thinking of uh, attacking or linking everything. They just uh, go attack uh, some uh, for some damage. And here's Magic Wall sending the Masquerade instead of having to link everything away. Going to Kagari. Here's a Droplet on the Kagari. But uh, not an issue, here's the Shizuku. Seven card and Enphase. Uh, they'll be adding uh, the Widow Anchor from deck. Multigold will be setting uh, one card in Club Graveyard because they activated his spell. And here's uh, during the Enphase, the Masquerade that gets summoned from Grave. Yes, we do anchor. Negating the Fakon Scarlet, uh, taking control of it, and prompting the scoop uh, on the front of the Spear player because of uh, too much advantage from this guy striker player. For game 2, they'll go for Rain, two Shizuku, Scoop, setting two cards, and just like game 1, adding engage from deck to hand during the end phase. Brother the Spear player going for Alu to banish the Despair strategy to activate this effect to go into, uh, to add the Adlibitum. And he has a second Alu of Darkness, banishing Albas, and he has 20 stars. They'll be changing Metaverse to activate Mystic Man from deck. Snapping away the multi roll, and he has Fright for Bashwork. Activate Banner Fusion. To most likely go into Lubellion. Activate the effect of Hadimitam to most likely summon the Alba uh, from the Banish and he has a uh, regular poly to go into Mirage It. They will activate the proper patchwork to add polymerization and Ajib Chains. Then they use the effect of Albion to send part of the opening so that they can get uh, some sort of protection from God Effect Destruction or Battle. Setting a card and pass turn, and uh, the Mystic Mind destroys itself uh, because two, uh, one monster on each field. He has engage. They will go. Was it a cold by grave on the. Yeah, it was a cold by grave on the raid. And Ryoji banishes the Shizuku. Engage will be adding another raid. But the raid on field we ha will have an effect negated. Uh, so they just uh, have to link summon with it, uh, the regular link summoning way. Instead of having to activate it. And here's a uh, we don't care to take control of the merge Attacking for a huge chunk of damage and main two it will go into Skashaka is Zig. The Mirage uh, does not act, uh, get to activate because uh, it wasn't sent uh, to grave on the Owner's possession, I think it was written. Yeah. And here she's good, uh, setting a card, and phase adding shot cannon. Maybe they do want to activate the shot cannon right now, or they just wait for a few turns. Doesn't seem like it. And here's one of the spear. Activating the Albion to add the Brother Fusion. Starting off with Aluba. Most likely adding a Branded uh, Lost. A oh, Branded Lost, I think it was. There's Lost and there's Lost as well. <laughs> because it's almost the same name. 
And he has a Brother Trishon. Going for Lubellion. Triggering multiple uh, simultaneous effects going chain. To then go into Mirage. And also adding Mercury from Takuhan. He has a Widanka, they will chain in rather than red. To go in to Maybe Golden Camera? Yes it is! Going to Golden Camera to then uh, pop the Shizuku and After King for some damage He has the Dramaturge being summoned from Grave as well and we just a scope for this Castle Cup here because of uh, the Koba Grave on the Ray and also <laughs> the Merge it. And for game 3, he has Engage after going for Kagari. Well, so, uh, before going into Kagari, and then once more Engage to go into Widenka. To add uh, Widenka, sorry. Yeah, Shizuku setting 4 cards and and phase adding the Hornet Drones. Well, this will be starting off with Alley of Darkness, and he has Lightning Storm. There was an Ash of the Alley of Darkness, uh, but uh, Lightning Storm does hurt a lot. Uh. Now we have Aluba going to Radat Fusion. Maybe it's a hop skip energy to lethal damage. Or maybe not. Uh, he has the big gun to go into Reggie. Uh, and is that Libitum being added to Han? Activate the attack of Reggie. Banishing the Shizuku on field to then. Get to trigger Re in Grave, summoning herself. I will try to attack over the Re, but he has Kasaka is Kagari to add back the engage for a next turn follow up. Main two is going to polymerization to go into Masquerade, and he has Libitum summoning back the Mirage from Grave. He yeah, used the fact of uh, Mirage to banish their own uh, the Aluba. To then get to activate uh, two trigger effects in the phase, adding Brother Fusion and most likely setting a Brother in red. And now this Castle will be starting off with a, an engage to add the Octaburner. He has Hornet Drones, summoning Token, summoning Kagari, activate the effect to add back the Widenka from Grave. Better watch out for the Masquerade. Because uh, Scroll Life Points for every activation. There's a Shock Cannon, banishing Albany Lotus from Grave. And now we have the Afterburner, targeting one of the monsters, but I think it was Mirage, but they chain Brandon Red. Oh, yes, yeah, they did uh, target the, uh, the Masquerade, so yeah. He has Camera, and Alibitum summoning back to the Mirage from uh, Banished. Which does get to trigger Re once more, to then go into Kaina. Stopping the Mirage from attacking, and he has Widenka negating and taking control of the Mirage. Linking both into Zeke to banish the Golden Camera until the end of the next turn. But uh, time is cold, and it's not enough uh, to push for a lot of damage. Ending with uh, the Planet Despia. Uh, I think it was the call. Oh, sorry, it was a uh, win. And now we have zombies, uh, pure zombies, uh, maybe without the synchro. Uh, engine versus uh, so, uh, ABC Therion going for Union Hanger to then going to I think was uh, this Colosseum and now we have uh, Union Driver being equipped to B to then uh, going to C and he has Platinum Gadget adding a Solco to then going to Therion King Regulus uh, Equipping uh, the C, not the B Buster Drake, I think it was called, to go into Mascarina and summon the ABC uh, Buster Dragon, I think it was called. <laughs> Let me just check the name right now. Yeah, ABC Dragon Buster. So, yes, probably anyway to go into the Dragon Swamp, adding and then use the Vaca Terraforming to add Zombie World. But yes, Mascarina uh, go, uh, linking into the Apollosa, negating the Nomo Summon. I'm uh, sorry, the Unison on the field, that was Nomo Summon. And yes, uh, Battle Phase, Madragon attacking over the Apollosa. And also the Unison attacking. And main 2, 
Il les pas comme des zombies, tous 5 globes, bloom, tout un summon. Et donc il va lock from uh, hand, from deck, sorry. On va pas ça comme, we'll be activating high flag, but yes, this is cool. Wait, uh, I think it was the doom keeper lock, uh, which was activated in this pack. And he has here on King Regulus equipping the Regulus from Grave, do then. Part of the damage and pass turn. Destroying the Vampire Sucker, and he has the Saga Unity Zombie. Activating the Fak. We'll take Negate, does it still activate Negate? I said Kozuki from. Was it Kozuki or was it Mizuki? I'll have to check. I keep on getting the names confused. It was Mazuki, sorry. <laughs> so now I'm just going to Cloud Bloom into Linkuribo to then activate the effect of Cloud Bloom to summon Dumping Power Drop from deck. Use the effect of Power Drop to banish the Helen Kyogulus from field, but uh, second the field and attacking for lethal damage. And now for game 2 here, set radiation setting. Uh, not sure what field spell on the opponent's field, but he has. Union Hunger Going to Buster Parade to equip the Union Driver to then going to see Crash Wyvern to then Link Summon to Platinum Gadget and the I think we'll see Crash Wyvern adding the B Buster Break Summoning uh, Assault Core to then going to Buster Break and then going to Mascarena Banishing 3 to go into ABC Setting a card and Power Stone Now we start rotation uh, What is rotation spell effect? Linger effect maybe? I uh, cannot, uh, well, not a player can activate these spells as long as there's one of them, at least one of them, being set on the field. Or something like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe uh, I did get mistaken. So he has Coming Cyclone and he went to zombie, wo uh, zombie World and he has Winnie Zombie and the Appaloosa being Link, negating both effects of Winnie Zombie. And Pasta, and he has uh, the ABC once more. Banishing the Uni Zombie on field. Can they push for lethal damage? Quite the intense uh, hand shuffling. And here's Buster V Buster Break being some normals or Super Summon. Here is the Fact of Union Hangar to equip the Sea Crash Wyvern. Linking everything into the Nightmare Unicorn. Did they spin themselves back? No. <laughs> They add Assault Code, or they summon Assault Code from uh, field, uh, from hand, sorry. Going to access code and winning the game. And now for game 3, we have uh, Indie Zombie Equals Ball, number 3, number 7. Sending the Power Banshee. To then send Glow Bloom and the Glow Bloom the Power Banshee combo. To go into the Rock and Indie Zombie on field. Uh, go into most likely Vampire Sucker. And during the survival phase, Barrack has to summon himself, throwing the effect of a Berserker to Roy Card. He has to discarding the Berserker uh, Drake, destroying Tommy Wall and the one of the Sakaon on field, and he has this Colosseum getting ashed. <laughs> Abyssola just flying everywhere. <laughs> and we have no more summon Berserker to go into Union Driver to then activate the effect of Union Driver to equip. Most likely a Sea Crush Wyvern from deck. Yep. And now, I have to think really carefully. He has two disturbs on the Discolosium and the Crash Wyvern. And he will go Clover Bloom, which does get to trigger the attack of Power Drop to banish the Lacerican field, adding Vampire Fallen. And he has uh, a summon of the Assault Core to banish three and summon ABC. Discarding Assault Code to Banish Power Drop, which is a good move, but it's not enough uh, in the face of Papaya Full Line. Being summoned and no cards in hand, they cannot banish anything, but they do get to tag out. Mount Passaka will try to activate the effect, but he has. Wait, sorry, it was part of this, because of Papaya Full Line. Can also boost an attacking zombie monsters. Uh, attack, yeah. <laughs> Going to A and B and C, they will. Let's destroy the A, which has uh, no effect because there are no monster to summon from hand. Maybe was it A that summons from hand? 
I think so. Lost the second field. The top deck this Colosseum to act as uh, second King of Glass. Trying to equip the ABC, but he has Cold Blood Grave, banishing the ABC. And <laughs> someone just cast it for the camera. And uh, now, what just happened? Where's the ABC? It died, just got banished by Polar Grave, and here's ABC being summoned. Another one copy. He's summoned from his deck. And here's Juni Zombie being no more summoned. Quite a huge top deck. Being able to set up their combo. Sending Mizuki to Reborn and the Zombie. Uh, Lee Zombie from Grave. Easy for Cover by Circuit Roy Card. Should have lethal damage. Yes, Kristen Hunky Fabrax uh, summoning blue, blue maybe from deck. <laughs> maybe they didn't have any more targets, uh, so they have to maybe summon an Ash Possum or a Ghost Bell from deck. Here's a Ghost Bell from deck. Okay. Is it do we need to go link line? They do go into the Avengers Savior. Which gets to boost his, so his own attack by sending his zombie himself from deck. Yeah, this Colosseum sending uh, King of Lassa uh, and also Avengers Savior sending Dunking by Rock from deck. Last turn maybe? And here's Bird Rock being summoned. But we have the Cosmic Cyclone on the Zombie World. Oh, wait, sorry, uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, the Cosmic Cyclone is discarded by the ABC to banish the Bird Rock. And now we have Serian King Regulus uh, maybe negating the Amelia Savior or something. Here's a normal summon of Kozuki. To then uh, send a Mezuki from deck to activate the attack of Mezuki to reborn or rather than reborning nothing because it gets negated by the regulus. Uh, 5 seconds at the clock uh, and time is called ending in uh, I think was it goal or was it a win for the ABC Therion? Oh, sorry, they did uh, go into uh, battle phase and then attack uh, for a huge echo damage with zombie winning the game. And now for the final round, we have Brother Alicia vs. Uh, Agents. Agents will be starting off with a Venus uh, paying uh, 500 3 times to summon 3 Mystical Chandros from deck. And they will go into Moon to then send the Majesty Hyperion from deck. Link clubbing into Barshas. To the effect which gets impelled. I have to think carefully about it. Maybe they do have some other combos. They do, he has Neptune. He's calling himself to rebo to summon uh, or reborn an agent from Hand or Grave. Summoning back the Venus from Grave. And banishing Neptune to summon Majesty Hyperion, which triggers the effect of Neptune to add uh, Sanctuary in the Sky. Activate Sanctuary in the Sky. And uh, Link summoning into Herald of Mirage Light. Passing turn with a Spell Trap Negate. And that's pretty much it. Yes, Lava Golem uh, tributing uh, the Mirage Light and the Porsche Shots on field. And there's the Branded Fusion sending the Golden Lord and Albaz to go into Albion. Albion will try to activate its effect, but here's Herald of Orange Light sending both itself and Christia from hand to negate it. Here's Golden Lord uh, sending ha the Hawker in field to summon itself, attacking over the Majesty Hyperion, setting two cards, and past turn. 
We is Hakuro going to be setting a, <laughs> a Scarlet Sanguine which gets the stud. And he has the Ash Blossom on the Scarlet Sanguine. Now we have the Moon being banished uh, to summon back the Palisir Pardon from Grave. But that's uh, everything we can do. He has uh, Golden Lord attacking with the uh, Golem. Mm -hmm. Not really sure what just happened. He's to cards uh, once more and pass turn. Now the Chapaya is uh, in quite typical. He cannot really do much. He has Conquistado popping the Majesty Apparel on the field. Link climbing into Link Spider, attacking from damage. And Fizz, uh, Conquistado, setting maybe something else, and he has two Ghost Spell. The reveal from the hand, doing absolutely nothing against a part of the dish. And as it is against the Golden Lord, which was already on the field. So he has Venus uh, summoning two from uh, deck. Do and do moon to then send Majesty Apparion, Venus has being 500 plus more to then summon from hand, which was the shining board that was uh, drawn from hand. And he has Trias being discarded by Porsche to then add the Venus uh, Agent of Destruction, linking everything to Apollosa for a 2 material negate. And he has Venus uh, being summoned, use high effect to pay 1500 to then. Summon uh, three shine balls on grid, all banished. Linking to high key firebox to then uh, summon uh, earth to go into cupid pitch to then bush uh, level into the four grid to for the savage dragon. Equipping an upper shaft from grave and also adding Neptune, which has 600 defense. Discarding Neptune to reborn uh, Earth and then banishing the same Neptune to summon Magister Hyperion from Grave. To gain the effect of Neptune to add uh, Sanctuary in the Sky and he has most of the Hyperion on the field. King Synchro Summon and he has Sanctuary in the Sky. Fast turn with 4 seconds on the British player's field. And up main phase he has the Pluto and <laughs> the Duster once more against the Bata Elish player. He'll try to activate everything else. Uh, by starting off with a Conquistador. And yes, Skill Drain. And also a Torrential Tribute. But they will be chaining uh, Treyas. To tribute uh, 3 monsters, so that I think they get to draw 2 or 3 cards, something like that. Because everything was going to go down by Torrential Tribute. Uh, yeah, Majesty of Prime being summoned from Grave. And also Neptune summoning back the Master Flayer from Grave. And here's Blagris, summoning himself from hand, attacking for a huge shock of damage with uh, game on board. And game 3, he has brought uh, fusion being ashed, setting 3000 plus turn. And now we have the fountain being activated to add us. No more summon us, which gets skill drained. Nothing much they can do other than maybe Lurgus being someone from hand. Trying to uh, the negate the summon of the Lurgus by judgment. And he has Fakaru blocking some damage from the Earth. Switching halfway to attack. And he has the Fountain by uh, banishing itself to protect the Earth from being destroyed by battle. They're going to Link Spider and Tay is banishing Rockwell to maybe set a Scarlet Sanguine. And now, it seems like they did draw a few bricks uh, from the HM player, having drawn the Butan. Uh, so we'll be trying to crush over the Link Spider. And here, yeah, Magic Happen, banishing Neptune from Grave to summon himself, uh, triggering the Fakar Neptune to once again add the Sanctuary in the Sky. Synchro summoning for Master Flare Hyperion, activating Sanctuary in the Sky, and Amphibious here, Scarlet and Green summoning Golden Lord from deck. And now. Reading Master Flare Hyperion. Just uh, deciding what to activate on the field. Flipping everything else, uh, and he has uh, and his uh, scars. I mean, banish from grave to set the conquistador, which contests the master of the run. Now, the player will be starting off with another fountain. 
gaining 500 apples, adding the Majesty. No way. Master Happarion, sorry. Yeah, attack over some. Oh, they will just uh, summon Master Happarion by launching us from Grave. And here's Conquistador being summoned, and they will be activating Dorsh Attribute. Destroying everything on field. I mean, most of the field. And of course, uh, just go because of the chain links. <laughs> Sometimes they have to let everything resolve to then be able to activate a new chain link. No chains can be formed in the middle of chain. In the, in the middle of resolving chain, sorry. And he is Chrono trying to be summoned, but we have the Orange Light negating the Chrono from Grave. But they do have Colossal Green to summon the Colon Door from deck and attack for some damage. Banishing Squad Green to maybe set the Conquistador from deck. And a scoop from the Asian player. We are skill train, just training every player's existence. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a question, we'll see you for YAL 9.